Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new web series on CodeDAM. This one is going to be about Rust Lang. So you can just simply call it Rust as well. So Rust is a programming language which I have been working with some time now and uh, it's neat. I find it interesting and simple to actually get started into compared to its closest competitor that could be a C or C++ programming language. So there are a lot of reasons in 2020 to learn rust if you are a developer it does not really matter if you're a front-end developer if you're a back-end developer because if you're a front-end developer you have been working with javascript and by the time if you're not living under the rock you might have heard about something known as webassembly so webassembly is going to be a revolutionary tool which would be brought into the front end the browser ecosystem more or less in the in the span of let's say two to four years but yeah there's a long way to go but rust is it's going to be um one of the languages which is going to power WebAssembly. now WebAssembly is made in such a way that it can be used with any language but rust is a very strong candidate um other than that rust has an equal performance just like c or c plus plus um it has a great tooling it has, you know, support for all that WebAssembly thing. Just like I said, it has great tools and it is built from ground up. So it's it's basically um, what you would say a newer version of a lower level programming language. So it, it's great in sense it learned a lot of things from C and C++, right? Where they went wrong. What were the common mistakes with C and C++ architecture? One of them being the memory modeling architecture, which Rust kind of takes care of as well. So yeah, I mean, this is going to be an exciting series. You can find a lot of resources on the Rust website itself. You can read the book. You can watch some videos from the Rust community. But uh, yeah, in this web series, I'm going to just take you through what I have learned. And that might accelerate your learning for Rust programming language as well. So it's a good time to be starting off with Rust. 2020 is a good spot. Let me tell you, Rust is going to take off in the next year, two year, four year window. And this is a sweet spot where you, if you learn, you will have an edge over the job offers. You will have an edge over the technology which is going to explode in the next two three years so yeah that's basically it for this video next videos would be up soon if you like this one don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one really soon